Leaders across Montana have talked about the need to get more people involved in the skilled trades. I spoke with an electrical apprentice from Helena about how a program here at Capitol High School gave him a step up toward a career in the trades. I just always liked working with my hands. Zach Allen says shop classes at Capitol High showed him there was a path forward to a career in this kind of work. After graduation, he tried a plumbing job, then came on with Green Source Electric. Once I started doing electrical, I just, it was something that really sparked my interest, so. He's now a registered apprentice, a year and a half into a four-year program, combining classroom instruction and on-the-job training under an employer's supervision. Green Source owner Derek Hedlin currently has three apprentices. We just have a great group of guys, and they all get along and uh, help each other with their schoolwork, and he's excelling great in his schoolwork, which is, which is the number one hard block the apprentices run into. Allen will complete his apprenticeship earlier than usual because he was credited with 600 hours of training for the work he did at Capitol. The state recognizes that as a pre-apprenticeship. It's giving students the opportunity to not only go out and see what the trades are like, but at the same time, if they decide to um, go ahead and go in with the trades as a career, uh, it will give them um, a, quite a bit of a leg up. The Montana Department of Labor and Industry says the number of new apprentices has been growing for years, from 183 in 2018 to 631 in 2021. Hedlund says he's seeing more people wanting to become apprentices. He says that shows the impact of a recent state rule change. Previously, two fully trained journeyman employees needed to oversee each additional apprentice. Now, one journeyman can supervise two apprentices. I would get 10 to 1 apprentice applications to maybe one journeyman application and before the ratio change um, every, we were maxed out so it, I, we weren't able to take a high school graduate or take anyone on. Capital teacher Tom Kane says they're working to show students what's possible if they enter the trades and Alan's success helps demonstrate that. We have more kids that are climbing through the program and we can use him as a good example of why the Department of Labor and Industry says about 10 schools across Montana are now doing this type of pre-apprenticeship program. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.